Hello, I know I haven't uh, made a video in a while. Uh, there hasn't been much going on. You see, I still never did anything with the workbench here. Um, but I'll get to it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do today is, uh, I got the laundry sink in. Um, I had one here before, just uh, for washing up and stuff. Uh, there's no drain that goes into the sewer line. What it does is it'll, I'll run a line here along the floor into the uh, sump pit. So the sump pump will suck up the water. So I won't be dumping any chemicals or anything in this. It'll simply just be to wash my hands um, or rinse off uh, something that needs to be rinsed off. And that'll be it. It's just basically a work sink. So I got my water lines here with shutoffs all ready to go. I got some flex connectors if I need them. I got the faucet and here's the instructions for the sink. So yep, don't need those. And some hardware and a plug. Probably need plug, hardware, you know. Don't need that. Anyway, so let's get started. Um, I don't know how much I'll be able to film because again, you know, I'm one-handed. I got no cameraman. I'll need a few hundred thousand more uh, subscribers before I'll ever be able to afford to pay a cameraman. But that's not the only, not only problem I'm gonna have. Wow. Yeah. No wonder it was a cheap faucet. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, hopefully those flex connectors will work. Um, and I'm gonna need a drill. I see. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put the phone down and uh, get to work. Here's some drain pipe. I don't think I have enough to get all the way to the sump pump, but it's a good start. And that way I didn't overbuy and end up having to return. And there's still a few pieces of stuff here that I might uh, be able to use there on the floor by the hot water tank. So I'll uh, give you a progress report in a second. Okay, as you can see, I got the faucet installed. The water is hooked up turned on we got hot and cold but we have no drain yet so you see there's a little bit of a puddle on the floor here um, the problem is is I bought inch and a half and I'm gonna need to go and get a uh, one inch for the uh, connection to the drain and then get a transition up to one inch and a half excuse me to uh, start working on my drain here so we're gonna go get a short piece of uh, one inch and be back and get this all buttoned up uh, real quick. And then uh, let's head upstairs. Because I did do something else this week that I didn't show. Um, but before I show that, um, Monday, the island and the cupboard doors are coming in, so we'll do a big video on that to show the finished kitchen. And as I showed in the last video, I worked on the extension to the patio. Well, I got a start here on the railing, and I got the stairs done. So if you come down the stairs, and you look at it now, we got stairs, railing there, and I just need some pickets there. And maybe a railing on the steps. I think uh, code says I have to have it, but... I don't know if I'll put it or not. And I got a desk, another uh, plank here to make another desk for Ivy for when she leaves to college on Tuesday. So yeah, I'm gonna button this up and uh, head off to the hardware store and get a piece of pipe. I'll be back uh, in a bit. Okay, we're back. And uh, I just got back from the hardware store and I got a, a new piece. It's still a one and a half but it's the same diameter as what came off the sink. So I'll just put the seal in there and screw it up and then I can glue in my pipe on the other end and go from there. So we're just gonna do a quick little test fit to make sure it's good. Get my seal in. There it goes, there. Not gonna need that. And a little reach around. Turn it the right way would help. My fingers on the camera again, but here we go. There, and we're installed. So now I just gotta get some glue on there, put the pipe on the other end, 
put in the elbow and head for the, the drain pit. And I got my elbow here and I got some transitions as well for joining pipe to pipe. So I'm gonna break out the glue, which is right there, and get a saw, cut that the length, get some, uh, some joints glued. I'll be right back. It's nice of my brother-in-law, the plumber, to leave his saw here for the ABS pipe, even though I've told him like four times now it's here, he still hasn't picked it up. So I get to use it to cut my pipe today and I don't have to uh, go and buy a saw. So yeah, I probably would just use the sawzall anyway with the wood bit. Would have made it look ugly, but it would have worked. So I'm gonna break out the glue and get to work. Well, I give up for now. Um, we got drain. Drain, 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 drain. I went and got more drain pipe and got a 90 to point it down into the pump, into the hole. And I had one coupler left, but it was for inch and a quarter, and this is inch and a half. So I couldn't put the last two pipes together. Uh, I grabbed the two couplers out of the same bin at the hardware store and I never checked them. I just saw inch and a half, I grabbed two, Hey, came home. So yeah, so I've gone to the hardware store three times now to do this little drain run and I'm done for today. I'll, uh, next time I have to go out for something and I'm passing a hardware store, I'll pick one up and I'll uh, get the coupler there for that. But as you can see, I did recycle some of the leftover plumbing because that has insulation on it. Um, I got a 45 there when I should have got a 90, but it worked out well because there was another 45 with the scrap that was left over from the job. I was able to trim off the pipe and get it to work, so it, it actually turned out pretty nice. I put another 45 there, and I ran my pipe. So, you know, I can try and keep this a little bit closer to the wall, and I just gotta get that last little joint right there, and I'll be down in the sump, we all set. And another note, um, the uh, dehumidifier is working with the hose again. It's been a week now since I had to empty the bin. What I did was I took the end of the hose there and I connected it to the water line and I flushed the hose. And then I stuck uh, just like a little pipe cleaner used for arts and craft and school there. And I stuck that up in the, the connector up there and a bunch of little black gunk came out, which is probably just dust soaked up in the water, which was plugging the drain. So after that, uh, it's been working. So the water is flowing down the pipe and the hose again. And I actually think the hose got a little nip in it somewhere during construction because there's a little puddle right there and it's dry coming from the dehumidifier. So I think there might be a little nick in the hose uh, right here somewhere. And that's all right. It could be just condensation because the hose is laying on the ground as well. As you see, it continues around, but it would leak on the hose as well. Um, the basement's been dry. The humidity uh, with this running 24 seven is uh, 64, 65. Uh, the filter's gonna have to be clean soon. And since I put the downspouts back up, I have not had water in here again, in uh, the corner. So it's now drying up. So it really was just the downspout right there underneath the uh, heat pump that was, uh, the water was flowing this way and it was leaking into the basement. Um, and you can see here, the window here now is underneath the patio. Um, that's just scrap wood that's laying there from cutoffs and everything. But yeah, so the patio is pretty much done. Just a little section of railing to finish. So the only tools I used was my drill here to uh, drill the hole for the uh, faucet and uh, the hacksaw that my brother-in-law left here. Um, so that's about all for today. And uh, I did not need the instructions and I did not need the little bag of hardware. So, uh, you know, bonus for me for throwing it over my shoulder and then not looking like a douche because I had to pick it up and use it. I still got to get rid of this chimney here. Um, there is a, a bit of a smell of smoke down here still and uh, the contractor says it's coming from the chimney. So I'm going to get rid of the chimney and then clean around the, the base here. 
and if the smoke smell still persists down here well then uh, they'll have to do something else but as of right now uh, the opinion is that it's the the chimney here and uh, I have to get rid of that and still nobody has come to pick up this ladder so I don't need two eight foot fiberglass ladders so I might put this one for sale just because uh, I don't need it and somebody might want it so yeah I'm surprised one of the contractors didn't come and pick that up and uh, I'm just wondering if Paul Davis is going to want their little hose here I'll uh, check with them but everything else down here is good uh, we did not paint the floor it was on the list of things to do but this floor was painted last year and yes there was a flood down here uh, but it's all lifted and bubbling and you see here like this like I don't know what this fluff is but it forms on the floor for all I know that's some kind of mold and it probably is but even after the paint last year I had that on the floor last year and it only comes out in certain spots um, so yeah but the floor is dry there's no wet spots and last year there would be occasional wet spots here and there um, from humidity so I'm hoping everything uh, stays well down here and that you know in the next little while I'll uh, get this plywood up on my workbench and uh, maybe if I have the time and the money I'll uh, drywall this room and maybe figure out some kind of floor to put down here like a I don't know like a just some plywood or something or I have to have some kind of rubber layer between it and it I mean it's very visible to the naked eye I don't know if the camera picks it up but I mean there's a severe drop there from the window to the corner and it drops probably about three inches so I don't know how well uh, it'll be for a floor down here it maybe uh, I had seen one time uh, online uh, you take a, your own sheet of plywood and you got a rubber coating that attaches with glue to the plywood and you basically make your own uh, uh, basement floor there they sell for ten dollars a square for two square feet you can make your own with sheets of plywood so maybe I'll do that but anyway uh, we'll put the drill away so we'll use my back door I'm really happy with how this turned out so I can come down and just step into my garage I may yet make a little bit of a step right there because it is still a little bit of a drop and my TVs are all in. I didn't show that. But yeah, so my garage TV is out here now. So I just need the mount and uh, fiddle around with that box there a little bit. It'll be all set. And uh, extra stuff in the garage right now. Because my daughter's moving to college on Tuesday. So I got some of her stuff here that has to be moved down to Fredericton, New Brunswick. So we're doing that Tuesday. But yep, yeah, that's that right up onto my patio it's been a very windy day the last couple days there's a hurricane coming up through the u.s so it's just causing the wind i think i almost thought that uh, the big popple there was going to fall the other night but it didn't anyway we'll call that a video thanks for watching hope you enjoy uh, the content of me rebuilding my house and i may transition to uh, daily vlogging uh, shortly so stay tuned have a great day.